What's up, friend? What do you have all these lights on for? What you mean? You thought we watched the Jungle Book for nothing? We about to get it in with this review. Alright, well, I'm gonna take my shoes off. Alright. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your stress. I mean the bare necessities or Mother Nature's recipes that bring the bare necessities of life. Alright guys, my name is DeAnthony. Hey, I'm Yaya. And we're about to get in this Jungle Book review. We just saw it, just came from the theaters. Cinemark XD, beautiful. 3D, awesome. Now, would you say it was better than the kids' version? Ugh. I mean, okay, so it was good. I liked it. It had a lot of interesting features, you know, obviously that the cartoon didn't have. But I feel like emotionally, like, I was more connected to it as a child. Like, you know, I kind of associated with Mowgli a little bit as a kid. And, you know, cartoons and Disney's huge and, you know, animation is huge for a kid. But I feel like as a real life movie... I didn't really relate as much to Mowgli. Like, it wasn't, like, I didn't feel connected to him. So, I mean. So, what did you think about Mowgli? I thought, honestly, like, the whole time I was watching, oh, he's like a kid. Like, he's like eight years old. And I, I felt, okay. What I was thinking of, I feel like he should have been a little bit older. Like, not like old, old, but maybe like that on the brink of puberty, like, you know, becoming a man, like, 11, 12, a little bit more. Don't you think he was about fostered. the same age as the cartoon, though? I think he was about the same age as the, as the cartoon, but because the other characters and, you know, the animals were just so fully developed, like, I felt like I wanted to see him grow, even just a little bit. Like, maybe he, he started out as a little 8-year-old boy, and mm -hmm. then by the time he came back to fight... Shere Khan, he was a little bit older, like 12 or something. Because right. what, what I thought of, the imagery that I that I was getting was like, he's just a kid. But what in my mind I wanted to see was kind of like, you know, that scene from 300 where he's like, it's like him versus the wolf and he's like becoming a man. And it's like, you can see the, the intensity there, you know, because I feel like the animals were very intense. They were. So for him to just be like eight and, you know, it was just kind of like, it was a disconnect for me in the character with him and the other yeah, characters. I would have to agree. Mowgli, I feel like, was underdeveloped. Everything else was so intense and, yeah. and so vivid that Mowgli just kind of seemed out of place. He's a little boy that grew up in the jungle mm -hmm. and he's running with wolves and climbing trees. Mm -hmm. And he just wasn't that athletic to me. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't see him doing all that. So it kind of fell yeah. out of place. Yeah. I would have liked him to be a little more athletic, but I did like that they kept him uh, being an Indian person. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. Middle Eastern person Absolutely. or whatnot. I Absolutely. thought that was cool. And not, person of color, yeah. Right, and sure. not have him westernized. So I did like that. So I think, I, think we, I think we agree with that. I don't know if you guys would, but that's just how I kind of felt. Maybe you will feel like it reminds you of the cartoon. He is like the cartoon. He's scrawny and you know, Linky. He, re he reminds me of the cartoon, but in real life, it is a live action. I would have liked to see him a little more athletic. Um, how do you think about the voice acting? Um, I mean, I thought it was good. I thought, I thought the mom was a little, like, downplayed. I guess, uh, Lupita, is that her name? I don't know her name. Oh, Whatever her name. <laughs> but I thought the mom was very downplayed. Like, I think the mom is just always such a strong character. And I hate to, like, compare it to other Disney movies and other movies, but, you know, like, even in in um, Lion King, like, where, you know, Mufasa's, like, super Ooh. strong, but the mom was still super strong, too, yeah, you know? No she was playing no fucking games. <laughs> like, no games. <laughs> no games. Excuse us. Sarabi, no games, okay? So yeah. I kind of, I mean, she a wolf, like... I just kind of felt like, I mean, she was definitely protective and, you know, nurturing, but I still felt like for her to be a wolf, like, I mean, you need to be a boss. Like, I mean, yeah, you ain't a lion, but you still a wolf. Yeah, so I thought that the wolf. You're not a deer. I felt like she was more like a deer. Yeah, the wolves really overall like... were very timid. They were very, they seemed scared. I would have liked to see some awesome 
wolves. They were kind of, they looked kind of like coyotes to me. Yeah. He was did. running with coyotes. You That's kind of what You did kind of mention that. I'm like, man, these wolves kind of look kind of weak. Yeah. And that's how they that's how they were portrayed. That's how the voices were portrayed. They just kind of like were docile. And they just kind of let the situation happen. I feel like yeah. a wolf pack would have yeah. been all over that. Yeah. It wouldn't have been no Hell games. Yeah. You know, so I feel like that they kind of disappointed me with that when it comes to wolves. Because yeah. when I think of wolf, I think of a vicious ferocious animal animals that is going to overpower yeah. whoever it's kind of like that whole thing that they were chanting like oh you know one wolf outside the pack like oh it's just me i might not be as aggressive but the whole pack is there like right. we acting like? up we right. acting up right <laughs> so right. it's going down right what'd you say all the way what'd you say Cause it's me and my homies <laughs> right. <laughs> and right it's us right what you gonna say to us what's your con though was he not tight he was Bomb. He was beast. Super. He was beast. Like, he was. He was a he tiger. He wasn't playing no game. He was a tiger. I was like, all right, Mr. Tiger. I see how you are. For roll. real. Yeah. Everybody was. Everyone needed to be scared of him for sure. Yeah. Yeah. They had the rhino scare. Everybody was scared. But how you got rhino scared? Yeah. The, the, the <laughs> rhino's like, well, I'm, I'm gonna just move out your way. Right. I'm gonna just move. Like I feel like rhinos in real life wouldn't be like that. Well, but he was. I he mean, was kind of beasty. Though. Maybe towards a lion. I feel like it's toward the line, but tigers are pretty vicious too. And I think, you know, I think it was it was good that they showed it in a in a good light and like in the sense that you know that other side of tigers. Because yeah. I think in a lot of more westernized movies, we get a little bit more of the docile tiger and the tiger as a pet, and it's all you know, Tony the tiger. glorified and shit. <laughs> but it's like great. okay, a tiger is a real fucking hunter, yeah. cat, nocturnal, and that shit is bigger than a lion. That's what most people don't realize like tigers are fucking 20 feet 20 feet long and they do kill people oh they they don't fuck around what about the music they don't maul you did you think the music Ooh. was uh necessary or just enough not enough there's a lot of music in the cartoon it was it was a lot of music in the cartoon i'm not really a big fan of music and musicals so i thought the music was perfect i think they tied in you know some of the music from the original cartoon and they, had to do that. they made it a little more modern. So um, it was just enough music for me. It was just enough singing for me. I, it was, it didn't, they didn't OD to sing it. So I was fine with that. I was actually thinking that they could have, like, did without the singing. Like, he could have, like, like, Baloo could have maybe, like, hinted at. Like, when he was first mm -hmm. kind of, like, mumbling it or whatever. Mm -hmm. Thought that was cool. Mm -hmm. Did they need to do the whole song? Maybe not. But I feel like... That was geared towards the kids, because yeah. everything else was kind of adult. Yeah, yeah. So I think that kind of would get the kids really involved. So, for me, I'm gonna go back to the voice acting. Okay. I, I thought the voice acting wasn't good as far as portraying what the animals would be like. So like the huge orangutan or whatnot. <laughs> I wanted his voice to be like deep. Or like intimidating, at least intimidating, mm -hmm. and I feel like it just wasn't. Mm -hmm. uh, I forget the actor's name. Um, Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken. He. It was cool because I know he was trying to be like the mob boss, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it just wasn't intimidating enough. I would have really liked him to be like aggressive a little bit. Well, I mean, I don't know how well you remember the cartoon, but in the cartoon, King Louis was like silly and goofy and like you know playful I remember that. so i think i mean i think to have him go from like you know being you know a silly monkey to like being you know king kong i think that's, that's kind of what he was that's kind of what he was but i feel like to portray him in that way when the original character wasn't really that way like i feel like they kind of you know, push the boundary a little bit on the personality, but I honestly expected him to be more silly because Mowgli wasn't afraid of him and he wasn't a threat. Yeah. So in the movie, they kind of made him a threat. And th that's another thing I didn't like about Mowgli too. Like, he didn't really seem intimidated by nobody. I mean, of course, Shere Khan, he was like, okay, I'm going to cool out. But he never really seemed like, oh, this is dangerous or this might be dangerous. He never really seemed... It was almost like he didn't grow up in the jungle. Yeah, he was very, like, almost naive. Right, he was, like, like talking through the in, fields Yeah, all like, out. they just dropped him in the jungle, and he's yeah. like, oh, hey, this is cool. Like, that was kind of weird. Yeah. I, 
I didn't like that either. There was like, no sense of really, urgency or... Yeah, he didn't really show much fear. And I'm just like, yeah. mm, I mean, I know you think you're a wolf, but <laughs> I mean... you really not. You got scars, so you been cut. Yeah. Like, all right, anyway. And I would, I would like to know where those scars came from. You know what? I like his origin story. I like how they brought that in. It was really cool. Yeah, that was to be cool. memor memorized by the uh, or mesmerized by the snake, mm -hmm. and then I thought that the snake wasn't going to tell the whole story, mm -hmm. uh, but the fact that he did, and then at the end he was all wrapped up. I thought that was really cool. Um, maybe I just don't remember the if they had an origin story in the cartoon. No, no. I mean it's Disney. They they don't got time for backstory. Oh, all right. They're well. like, here's the story. Here's the song. Love it. Buy our merchandise. <laughs> Okay. I know, right? <laughs> Definitely buy them. Right, we about to make t-shirts, towels, <laughs> cups, right. toys, games. Yeah. That's all you need to focus on. Well, the origin story was pretty cool. It was really cool. I actually liked that. Because then it, you know, it gave Shere Khan kind of a motive, you know? Right. And I, I felt like no one else really knew about that. Like, was Shere Khan's eye bit. burnt in the cartoon? He, I think he had a scar or something. I've only watched it when I used to watch it all the time when I was a kid. Yeah, but as an adult, I, I just haven't really wanted to watch it. <laughs> I felt like I needed to like refresh myself before going to see this yeah, one because it was so, so long ago. Like, yeah. I mean, shoot, almost like twenty years ago. What did you think about the detail with the animals? Oh my gosh! Like that shit was crazy. It was incredible. Like, I mean, they look so real. So real. they look so real. Like the panther, fucking Bashir. Yeah, I was like. A real panther, like that's yeah. a panther. Like I'm scared. You like, like the monkeys, the detail of the monkeys. The is monkeys really is crazy. Well. I, I really wonder how they did that. I'm like, did they take real animals and just like put the face? I know on? that's why or, I kind of want to get the Blu-ray to yeah, see like how they made it. How they made it. But then again, I guess when you think about uh, what's the movie with all the monkeys, uh, the one where they take over the world. Oh, Planet of the Apes. Yeah, Planet of the Apes. They look real, real too. They look real, real. Yeah, I feel like it was more detail. It time. was definitely more detail. But I mean, I guess you're in the jungle. You know, you want it to be very vivid, and that it was. I mean, even like the yeah. elephants and the rhinos. I yeah. mean, you could see yeah. like the creases on the rhinos yeah. and on the elephants. And I mean, the grass, like everything was just so vivid and so like, I'm in the jungle. Like, I definitely felt like we in the jungle for real. Like, so, originally you didn't want to do 3D. Are you glad you did 3D? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm glad I did 3D. <laughs> last experience I was just kind of like man forget 3D like 3D is just not worth my money and I've yeah. seen other movies in 3D that felt that way like and I paid these extra few dollars for what? Like, not every movie them. needs to be seen in 3D. That's true. But this one you definitely want to see it was, in 3D wherever it was you good. are. It was IMAX good. definitely see it in 3D. I'm anti 3D and it was good. It was good. Alright so overall what would you rate the movie? Oof, that's hard. That's a hard one. Um, out of five stars. Out of five stars. Overall, I, I would give it... Can we do halves? Sure. Okay. I would give it like three and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. would you watch it again? I will watch it again. I will see it again. Would that be so your last time, though? Because it was three and a half. No, I just feel like as far as like movies go... And, like, for me to give a movie, like, a really, really high top rating was, like, for me to be emotionally invested. And I just couldn't get emotionally invested in Mowgli. Like, even when... Possible spoilers. Here we go. <laughs> so, even when the dad dies, Akila, when the dad died, it was like, you know, that... I felt more connected to that part than, like, him as a young what, man cub or whatever cub growing up and you know having this enemy in the jungle and it just wasn't powerful like the role of Shere Khan was powerful the role of like Bashir was powerful like they I feel like they were more they took over more of the movie than the actual boy did mm. now you I guess I can kind of agree with you like I said I would have liked Mowgli to be more intense more athletic so it could be it could seem more realistic Mm -hmm. I really think, I don't know what everyone else thinks, you probably might want him to be like the cartoon. That's exactly what he was, mm -hmm. was like the cartoon. Mm -hmm. um, I thought he was likable. I thought he was likable. And there were times was... where I was like, oh, look at that little kid. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, exactly. 
you're not like, oh, this kid in the jungle, you know, is like this boy in the jungle. Yeah, it wasn't like, what if I was like, yeah, I couldn't imagine myself in Mowgli. Mm -hmm. So, okay, I, I guess I can agree with that. Yeah. So, overall, I would probably, just because the visual effects, we got an origin story, um, some of the voice acting was really good. I really like Idris Elba. Yeah. Yeah. Um, his his was on point from just how he was like casually being intimidating and then when he was like being fierce. So I feel like he did a really good job. Um, I don't know the actor who played uh, the panther. I, of course I like Blue. I think they picked the perfect person. Um, sorry guys, I can't remember his name right now. Bill Murray. Bill Murray. He, that's why that's why I like you. <laughs> that's why uh, you keep me around? Yes, that's why I keep you around. Try <laughs> Um Bill Murray was really good. I thought he was a perfect um, character for, a perfect, perfect person for Baloo. Um, just his personality in general just kind of fits with Baloo. Yeah. So I feel like that really brought it out. So I'm going to have to give it four stars um, just because of the visual effects. Um, most of the voice acting. Um, we got an origin story. So I was a little more invested. Um, I like the fact that they had, they named, I don't know if they did it in the cartoon, but they named fire something that, that they could relate to. Yeah. The, um, That's cool. was the red flower? red flower. I thought that was awesome. Because that's, what else would they know to call it? Never seen it before. They don't know how to create it. It does kind of look like a flower. flower. You yeah. know, so I thought that was pretty good. I would give it a four. I, I liked, I liked it. Yeah. I, I would probably, if it wasn't for the fact that I wanted to know how they made the movie, I wouldn't get the Blu-ray. But since I do want to know, I would probably get the Blu-ray. You but think anyway. kids would enjoy the movie? I think kids would enjoy the movie. I mean, especially if they have some type of affinity for animals. Um, I think they would enjoy the movie. I, I feel like, you know, it's a little intense for some young kids. Like, I feel like maybe six and up is a good range to go. But I think anything yeah. less than that, is, it's very intense. But, it, I mean, it was good. I mean, I think you had some really good points, too. But I feel like because I couldn't get invested in the main character, that was kind of what swayed me. But, I mean, you made some really good points, a lot of points. Well, like I would say everyone check it out. Jungle Book, everyone grew up on it. You might as well go see the live action movie. It's going to be pretty good. You might agree with us, disagree with us. Um, but go ahead and like, subscribe, email us, fax us, whatever you want to do. Who this got a fax machine? Everybody got a fax machine. Still, okay. it, sh it should go out of style, but they do have them. Don't what fax me. <laughs> whatever you want to do, just share us. Let us know in the comments what you thought about the movie, if we are wrong or right, or if you would have liked Mowgli to be more realistic, or if he just worked out for you. Let us know. All right. I'm D'Anthony. And I'm Yaya. And we out. Peace. I wanna be like you. I wanna walk like you. Talk like you.